Now, Nassimi Agaev is the Consul General of Azerbaijan in Los Angeles. We're going to speak to him now about another phenomenon that has come out of this, uh, this conflict, and that is the Armenian diaspora in particular actually protesting in different parts of the world, uh, coming out in force in cities like Paris and Los Angeles, where he is currently, um, to support what they feel are their brothers in Armenia. And one of the questions we'd like to put to you, thank you so much for joining us, Consul General, is that outside of Armenia, the country seems to have a rather clear advantage with a very large and very wealthy diaspora. It's about four times the size of the actual population of Armenia. And in Los Angeles, um, even the mayor, Eric Garcetti, has come out alongside thousands of Armenian protesters in full support of Armenia. Talk to us a little bit about the dynamics of this kind of disproportionate diaspora in Los Angeles and why you think the mayor himself has gotten involved. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course, it was very sad for all the Azerbaijani community and now I would say all people of conscience to see the mayor of Los Angeles come out and openly side with Armenia against Azerbaijan. We publicly condemned this kind of political expediency, pandering to the Armenian lobby, and highlighted how un unacceptable and wicked it was to side with Armenia, a country that's currently murdering innocent Azerbaijani civilians, shelling our cities, our towns, and all the civilian infrastructure. But I, in general, I would say since the, this new war of aggression against Azerbaijan started, the Armenian lobby here in the U.S. got some politicians who serve the interests, come out and parrot the Armenian propaganda narrative. And we've raised this issue many times. It might be perfectly legal uh, for a congressman or local politician to receive campaign money from the Armenian lobby and willingly become the lobby's mouthpiece. But is it ethical for politicians to disregard all the war crimes committed by Armenia against Azerbaijani people, all the injustices and the illegal occupation, ethnic cleansing of Azerbaijan's sovereign territory by Armenia, all the killings of those little children, women, elderly, during the Khojali genocide? Of course it's not. It's absolutely unethical. I, I would say it's corrupt. And we must keep raising and exposing such morally reprehensible behavior by some Western politicians. And those politicians constantly talk about human rights, human dignity, other uh, sacred values. But when they openly side with Armenia's war crimes and crimes against humanity, supporting Armenia no matter what, their words and deeds do not match. And that's what needs to be exposed regularly. Okay. You know, we live in an age where social media in particular has proven very powerful, for better or worse, in, in influencing people around the world. And one of the things we've seen now evolve in this conflict is the presence of actual celebrities uh, taking up this cause. You now have someone like Kim Kardashian, who has a very high social media profile, announced that she'll be donating $1 million to Armenian causes and rallying people to, to join this cause uh, in support of Armenia. Um, first of all, do you think they, people like Kim Kardashian, and I should mention Cardi B was also on board, she apologized for having taken any stance in this issue and said later she realized she didn't know enough about it. But still, what are you up against when it does involve celebrities who have this social media presence, and do they fully understand the real dynamics of this conflict? If they don't, what kind of damage are they doing, do you think? So uh, I'm absolutely convinced that none of these celebrities, even the ones with Armenian background, have any idea about what the Armenian-Azerbaijan conflict is about. Many of them are simply misled to take Armenia's side uh, by Armenian propaganda that demonizes Azerbaijan. Uh, but once exposed, some of them have even deleted their posts. And as you rightly mentioned, the Car Cardi B even apologized publicly for posting this anti-Azerbaijani uh, post. So it's important for our diaspora, for Azerbaijan diaspora, for Turkish diaspora, and other friendly diasporas to constantly express our position against this bias and uh, regularly provide the true information about the conflict, about the occupation, about the suffering of a million Azerbaijani refugees and internally displaced people. Uh, what Armenia and its lobby fail to realize is that Azerbaijan is no longer a weak, poor, and disorganized post-Soviet country of the early 1990s. Azerbaijan has been transformed into a serious and stronger player in the region and beyond. And similarly, our diaspora has changed and become much more active in many different countries, especially in the U.S. And in the early 90s, we had only a small community of Azerbaijanis living here in the U.S. They were just in the process of settling down. 
and the information technologies were not as developed. But today, with all these information abilities, social networks, technological uh, potential to spread the truth, they all allow our diaspora to educate the American audience about what's actually happening on the ground in Karabakh. And the new generation of Azerbaijanis who were born in the United States and educated here are now actively involved in conveying the truth to the American audience and countering the lies and propaganda. It's also very important that we continue our diaspora, the Turkish diaspora and other uh, friendly communities to work to closely together uh, in this regard and to counter all those propaganda and lies. Nasim Yagayev, Consul General of Azerbaijan in LA. Thank you so much for taking the time. We appreciate it.